been that long. Hello and welcome to Tights TV. It's Neil and uh, I think we all know who Steve is. Back in demand, been asked for by numerous amount of people, Steve. So it's great to have you uh, back on, mate. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it. Sorry it's been a long time, like. It's been a long time, but understandable. I mean, we'll start off, I mean, we're going back to last season. It couldn't get any worse, could it? I mean, Ooh. everything went belly up last season, didn't it, mate? Awful, mate, awful. It was. Well, clubs, clubs my passion, as you know, but like last season really tested me to the limit. Not only me, obviously, thousands of others, but mm. it, I, find it, I was finding it very hard going to games. That from from probably well I think it was probably from uh, when the uh, got rid of slot. So obviously I have my opinions yeah. on who they should have been fetching in then. Yeah. To try and to try and save us from the debacle. Well it started it summer didn't it? We've we've had this fight. Obviously we uh, signings, uh, transfers, and then a number of staff leaving mm. for for whatever reason. Well, we've later found out after why, but yeah. uh, from from obviously when Slot got sat, we're identifying who we could bring in this time over to end of season to try and keep us up, and it will like club well. Deliver, deliver every course because it, we're all on the social media. Get war knocking, get so and so in, get this in. But no, we went down that other road didn't we, the fetch as bargaining. Mm. And it all ultimately, it didn't work. And it was like it was a chore at games. It was like, we're not going to win today. We're not going to win. We're not going to win. We're not going to win. And that was feeling. It, yeah, that what that what feeling? We had a bit of a spell when we sight two lads up on loan, mm. and that and that were left till last minute mm. because you never know if we could have got them in a bit earlier in January, we might have picked up a few extra points, but we got to send back in it, and then we obviously that Reading game. But it, it was just, it was just, it want, it want to be. We won't even. We won't, if I'm being honest, Neil, we weren't good enough anyway to stop up. Damage had been done. It damage had been done. It summer, yeah. and then you looked at two or three players, and I will, I'll call them out because I have, I've called them out before, and hmm. and uh, people's hammering me for it. Well, hammering me for two of them, like. But I thought Styles and. Uh, uh, Britain, the body language were appalling. Mm -hmm. The body, I don't care who coach was, who both coaches were throughout season. Them two's body language were appalling. Woodrow sometimes did it, mm -hmm. but not to an extent as them two. No matter how poor the coaches were, we were their personal pride in their performance and. To thousands who paid money to watch them through season tickets, match day, whatever you want. It was appalling. I want to see, listen, give 110%. This has been a Barsley trait for years and years. When I was a kid, when my dad went, my granddad, fans will accept players give 110%. If we get beat, you gear all, you leave it out, pitch. But to see that, it was criminal to me. Yeah. It was criminal to me. And listen, no disrespect. He's probably a nice kid, Britain Styles probably is. I've never met him like that. But listen, I did I did bat an eyelid when we sold him to Blackburn. Mm -hmm. And I'm not bat and I'm not battering an eyelid when Styles goes. Because like I said, and people probably think pull me up on it or say something, but I don't want players like that at club. No. I don't want when going gets tough tough get going they didn't need the damn no. tools and you've heard stuff coming out yeah. I think it would appall it and listen I question Woodrow as well but the thing what I think say about Woodrow is 
He will play that. He will play the wrong position for me. He's a striker. He's a goal scorer in box system. What we were playing didn't suit him. He shouldn't have been playing. Should have been left out. If we were playing a certain system, Woodrow should not have played because he brought him back when he got back fit. And Morris were playing up there, and I thought we looked a lot better with Morris as a centre forward. Hmm. But when he come back in Woodrow, Morris got pushed out to his where what the term is natural position. Hmm. But I thought Morris was more than an handful centre forward. Yeah. My opinions, my yep. opinions yep. on it, like you know what I mean. And yeah. listen, it was sad to see Woodrow go because he scored goals for us in the last two three seasons. Whether it was time for him to move on. Hmm. We can think, question that all day. Go on. Yeah, uh, just going on with like Ashbarge and that, obviously he went to end of season, before end of season, sorry, Devaney and Lauman to cover. Oh, wow, they to cover, didn't they? Yeah. They to cover. Um, again, body language with Ashbarge at times, were like, he do not really want to be in it, you know, a bit like Britain and that. I think he knew his sin, but he, he wasn't going to be here in his own mind. And when, when you look at uh, end of season, you've got the board reshuffle where Conway and Lee uh, have like still on board, but not have a day to day running. Bit of reshuffle. Jean Crine, uh, you know, stepped up and she got emotional, you know, understandably so with Patrick and that. And look, we're on for new head coach. I'm glad that it ended up being duff, but what. Did you have concerns at time as like probably some fans did as well, but we're gonna go down this this other coach that nobody's ever heard of, or do you think right we need to address the issues from what we've hopefully learnt from last season or the season before? Well I were calling I've been calling for a I'm not saying a British coach, mm. somebody who knew the league mm. and who could work who could work to these uh, things what the club use and obviously to a budget hmm. obviously we've lost money with relegation and you look at Do uh, obviously you've looked at Duff he took Cheltenham an unfashionable club up Cheltenham well they were always a non-league club he took them up after League 2 into League 1 they finished halfway no money probably dealing in loans cheap players from non-league so you look at him and it ticks all boxes to what we what we needed mm. this season because obviously financially it ticks all, all boxes and I get it and I like him in Oats League you know what I mean uh, he looks like he cares uh, shouting motivating I, bet I, I prefer them kind of managers mm. you know what I mean shouting motivating you know what I mean he, he, he passionate if you get if yeah, if that, that's the word, passionate. Yeah, but going back to that way, board reshuffle, <laughs> and I said we arrived, smile, and I think a number of other fans still are. Uh, Conway and Lee are still at club, and I get. I've read all stuff, mm. and sometimes it gets complicated. It goes bloody out. Oh, mm. this, oh, oh, there's that many people got the finger in different pies and uh, um so much percentage of this that over it's just mind blowing it's just mind blowing Neil I, I, it is. you know what I mean I, I, sometimes I have to go reading it because but this, my thing is they're still at club they're still at the club I'd have liked to uh, gone on them, together yeah but whether yeah. Whether, the, whether the others could have done that that remains to be seen but I think to appease a lot of fans who are still are in the dark about it mm. because a lot were saying, oh, they've done it to get well, more season tickets. But then but then I've read that uh, season ticket sales were up, actually, while they were still on the boat, up, you know what I mean, actively yeah. on the boat. Yeah. So that, that, that pool pulls that light. But... Uh, yeah, so, and a lot say we'll uh, not renewed, obviously, because of it. They're still waiting to see because is it going to be the same old, same old, like as the guards on the field caring more about, well, not caring what goes off on field to what goes off with 
off the field, as in with profits, blah, 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 mm. this, that, and other. Mm. And I've listened to uh, Nareev, and it comes across as he's caring. All right, we know Gene Klein's going to care. She's Barnsley through and through. Same with James, like they've been with Patrick up to him dying, like, alongside. And, I've, and I always said, when Patrick passed away, and obviously, when he sold club, I mean, we could have got anybody. You don't know, do you? We, I mean, we, we could. You, you don't know, do you? Yeah. You yeah. can do what you can do all your research, your own work. Mm. Could have got anybody, but I've said it. Why didn't James just take it over, but get people running it with him, mm. so it were left with James still? You know what I mean? That was yeah. I said it. I said it years. I said it when these first come in. I didn't get it. Uh, he could have done it, but that's. No, I'm not saying Pete, fetch Peter Risdale in, but a type of person like football, Risdale. Football people round him to help him guide him through. Certain exactly, things. exactly. Yeah. He did. Patrick didn't have to sell then, did he? Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, like I said, that so that's happened with that. We brought a, brought a bit to the feel good factor to some, obviously. Odd few. I can still see why people are skeptical about it. They're going to mm. be. They're going to be with what's gone off. I mean, we can go through numerous things, what they've got wrong. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, it's all doom and gloom, isn't it, really? But <laughs> it is really. And then there's all this. I mean, we'll get on to the sponsors in a bit. Ah, we'll get on to that, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, <we'll> to finish. <laughs> go on, man. But, yeah, but Bill Ray shuffling what you're on about, be with finances and stuff like that. We knew that we're losing, what was it, six, seven million pounds in revenue, whatever it was going down. And then, you know, I think all Barnsley fans were expecting some players to be going. Uh, and again, it's a bit, uh, I mean, if I'm being honest, I expected Woodrow to go, but not Morris. I expected one or other to go. And then well, when you look at the well, situation we're in, we've got Woodrow gone, Morris gone. I was glad to see such as the fringe players as I call Deadwood someone and go, such as like your yeah. mate, your palm and about get him off at wage bill because it's all up, yeah. you know, it's it's for wages as well. But again, the players that have come in, the you know, they've been free signings, free agents, and Conor McCarthy, Luke O'Connell, but some you know, they do look decent players that have come in. Michael Duff kind of players, but the work rate, it's still early days mm. yet. But again, it's, we're in position like now that everyone's like wanting a striker and I get that but when we haven't got money what we're going to do to get a striker in everybody's going to be wanting a 15 18 goal striker you know so again were you expecting players to have gone and would you were you expecting them for a bit more as well Steve because people have been alluding to that and all saying oh they've gone for undisclosed or cheapest peanuts kind of thing well just before I answer that <laughs> let me just uh, I I need to just touch on uh, another thing I, did, I have also spoke about and said. Obviously, catastrophe at summer last summer. Hmm. We, co we come way acting at CEO signing a second, Hilary and Cole. Yeah. I've questioned, and, and, and some other fans have also said this, that he got us in this mess by, with this. Now, the board should have got us out of it. And I don't get... I know they've put a million in. Mm. But for me, there's more should have been put in. Yeah. We're saying we've lost seven million, right? Put half in then. Put half of that money in, right? Mm. So so then said we're three and a half down, right? Yeah. You don't sell then both woods row and Morris, you keep you sell Woodrow ten grand a week, yeah. ten grand a week allegedly off wages. Mm. So you sell him, you keep Morris. Mm. And I don't listen. If Morris wanted to go, I don't buy it. You said to him, "No, we're keeping you. You've got some whatever left on your contract. I don't know what he has. We're yeah. keeping you. We're going for promotion. We're going for promotion at first attempt. It's mm. like club of club of ex, accepted fate." Mm. They're not willing. Obviously, they've put a million in, which I thank them for. But they, they weren't willing to put that extra bit in. We we didn't have to offload as better players as such because mm. Morrison is. For me, I'm looking at Norwood now, 
And if Body should have stopped, they get the game in it playoffs at least. Been, yeah, yeah, good, good call on that. Do you, get, do you know what I'm saying? So, Wood yeah. should have, for me, half a, half a de deficit, what we lost with relegation and income streams and this time over and then. Fair enough. I totally agree we will gain all them off uh, your Smiths, your Juan Palmer's, yeah, yeah, uh, Miller's, Adi yeah, yeah. Asian. You had all the wages up, Neil. Yeah. You could have got you could have got probably a, well, this is what I'm saying. Did they need to let Woodrow go then? It was strong on about when you look at yeah, yeah. If it, it your Palmer Palmer Adi Bejo Schmidt, Miller. Schmidt, Miller. Right. Have their wages allegedly would draw on 10 grand a week? Mm. I don't know. We don't know. But don't, don't get rid of them and keep Woodrow instead and with chance of them coming back up and, yeah. and appeasing fan base because it's like we've accepted what's happened mm. and we know that they're trying to offload Ellick and Styles, mm. but for some reason... and. We're not going to get what we want for them, and like, and, and touching on yeah. what you said, like the, the original point, what you said, like uh, <coughs> we ain't got what we thought we'd get for Woodrow and Morris. Hmm. Well, we don't know what we got for Woodrow and Morris, but I don't think we have got what people yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So, so you might as well have kept him, but I do get why they did get rid of Woodrow because his wages, his mm. wages, what wages, what speaking point, and when you're in League One, you shouldn't be paying them kind of wages. But, but Neil, <laughs> if you want to be a success and go straight back up and keep fans on your side, or at least ever go and show intent that you want to do that. Mm -hmm. I get it sold down to money. Yeah. But but there's frugal and frugal and we take frugal to another extreme. I think at times yeah. we do. We do. And I know Wednesday and Derby, the conservative check, they've done this, that and other they've got they've got bigger fan base so they can attract and pay that bit more. But at least they're still having a go and gambling. A they go didn't have to. They didn't have to. They don't want to be in this league. Do they, do they, there's other teams, Port, your Portsmouth, your Bolton's. Ipswich, uh, stuff like that. Ipswich, yeah. Ipswich. Yeah. They don't want to be in this league, so they're going to still have a go. Mm. And you're allowed to, I don't know, don't quote me on this, I think you're allowed to lose, uh, spend 39 million over three seasons. I've mm. never asked Barnsley to spend that much. Mm. Never. No fan has, no Barnsley fan has. No. Uh, we don't need to. You need to just spend enough to compete, though, and obviously, or to get us back up at first attempt, because this league's hard to get out of once you get stuck in a rut. Hard to get out of. It's well, you look at your Sunderland. How long it took them to get out? You know, Sunderland, um, Leeds were stuck in it yeah. a few years. Sheffield United, Sheffield United. Were stuck in it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's hard. It's which probably are they in the third now? Nah. Third or fourth, yeah. So Port, yeah. Port, Portsmouth have never got back from because mm. they went down to they went down to three, didn't they? Mm. They've never got back, and I feel we're getting a bit like we're becoming like another Bradford City in a in a sense. Mm. Yeah. Or we're going to get like them because they're stuck in League Two and they can't get back. It's a, but, it's a lot. It's a lot to take on, isn't it. I mean, it's like you said from when you think. You know, from his overachieving under Ishmael, and I'm, you know, I'm going to say that. But Ishmael came in, we overachieved, we built on that. We had a, a crap uh, summer with CEO, what you've just said there. Then you look at Luton. I mean, they just missed out, obviously, through playoffs and that. Yet they've gone out for an intent and got two strikers. Yeah, I look at it as that we should have been doing stuff like that. We should have been having that push on and an intent. Not saying we're going to get promoted. But at least show willing, but we are going to compete yeah. and try and get back there. We, like you said, we've we've got opposite way around, and we've just gone. Well, we've gone nose down, we've gone plummeting down like a bloody lead balloon mm. Uh, mm. into the situation where we are now. And like you said, being in League One, some clubs in there, bigger fan bases, they're fighting to get out. And yeah, he got some fans saying, "Oh, we're going to come back up." But when you think about it, I can see Duff 
me, and I've said it before, I can see it taking Duff probably two, maybe three transfer windows to get the team and get the the personnel that he wants. And he's not going to be all done in this, this window, I don't think, my son. No, totally agree, Neil. It's, uh, it's not going to be done overnight. Uh, I've said, uh, obviously, mid-table this season, if we push what play... Listen, if we drop lucky and get it, if we drop lucky and get it playoffs, you'll take it. Oh, because yeah. end, uh, end it there, then playoffs is anybody's. They cut, they're just a, a, a shoot at, so it's anybody's. So you never know, you could get back up. But I'd take me, I'd like to. This is what I'm saying about if we'd have kept uh, Morris, like, give, give us any chance. But <clears throat> obviously, what's done's done now, right? Like. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, halfway and probably target next season or season after. So end it there, and I've said it to our old and other people. Fans have got to be patient with this. I, I think majority of them are. Hmm. Fans have got to be patient. It, it's 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 gonna be. It is a rebuild, and I'd like to think. Well, we thought they might have learnt the lessons after last time when we got relegated and then come back up and then went, you know what I mean? Because mm. we've been, ta is this his third time under these owners? Third, yeah. Yeah, so three out of five seasons. Mm. So, so, they, so you'd have thought they'd have learnt the lesson after it first and yeah. they obviously aren't after this. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm saying, and, and, then, it, and then it might not happen in three years, Neil, you don't know, because it's hard to look, obviously. Three yeah. years is a long time. But, over, yeah, I totally agree with you. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be patient. And patient. We've all thrown, we've all thrown Teddy at it. Caught. I have. I'll hold my hand up. Uh, oh, I'm not reading up. Well, I have reading up, actually. So, but I have. I went on Saturday and I've got ticket, yeah. uh, tickets for Bristol Rovers game and uh, Wickham. Because mm. uh, that well, and the, we, like I said, we've all thought Teddy Hart at court with what's going off. The, oh, I've done, I've done, the, they've had it now with me, this club, blah, blah, blah. But then when you stew on it, you watch stuff, you listen to stuff, goes off it summer, it bug comes back to you. Mm. We, 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 you know what I mean? It comes back to you, though. I can't stop going. Yeah. I can't yeah. stop going. Yeah. They've got me, it's like a bug. I fell yeah. in love, fell in love with club in, in seventy seven, my first game, hmm. and it, 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 I'm still in love with whatever happens off field. I know we're going on, we're on about it today, and we we have hmm. done it past. Then eleven up pitch is probably reason why why we why I go to watch, and probably a majority of other fans. But I wish I wish things off the pitch were smoother. Yeah. And then we'd be talking about bloody eleven up pitch more than we talk about what's going off on it. Off, uh, yeah. off it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and it seems this last three or four years that's all we've done. Yeah. Because it it, 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 it manages it set up. Because it'll rub off up players and this. The, I get, I get. We going back to Stars of Britain. I get it, but I get it. But for their own personal thing, they shouldn't have been like that. Hmm. And I know majority of players had a had a poor season and ultimately really got relegated. But it was just the body language. It was like they didn't want to play, didn't want to be here. And for me, do wrong, wrong. Do you, do you think as well, Steve? I mean. I've said it before, I don't know if you agree with this, is that if they did a stronger manager in, I think it'd have, it'd have got him in shape. It, but it, they wouldn't have allowed them, the players to be more or less running the roost of a, the, such a schlop and a spargy. I think if it had been Duff, Duff had either dropped him and he wouldn't have played him and it'd have, it'd have got out, I think. Probably, would, yeah, you pro the, the, the probably took liberties with course, yeah, cause, yeah. yeah. It, they weren't strong enough. And this all boils down to, Neil... Roll on effect, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, upstairs, who's employed these managers to start with? Yeah. What, yeah it's a snowball effect. It comes round, doesn't it? 
Yeah, they were out to the death, mate, right? Mm. Look, they probably were great folks, both of them, right? But they were out to the death. They're going to come because they're coming from what what level they were in in their, in their countries over to our Inter championship, which is probably sixth best league in the world. Mm. You know, after you've got your Ger Spanish, German, Italy, yeah. England. Like, you got what I'm saying? They're going to come, they're doubling the money. Oh, it's a it's a win win situation because they get sat, they get paid off, or whatever, or whatever it is, or if they, I don't know how it works. They're going out with compo in the pocket, with them, you know what I'm saying? So mm. they, they, they do well, they put the Senate shot window, they do crap, they're, they're walking away with, with money in the bank, you yeah. know what I mean? It, 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 it is, it's that, it's, it's still not cheap, it's mm. still not cheap with but and so. And I think your coach, stroke manager, is probably the most important person at club. I think that's you what we've got now when you look at such as Duff. He's got that Martin Patterson in who he knows and Devaney. Yeah. So I think it's like, a, when you look at, for me now, I'm looking at that, it's is like people around him. It's like people he knows and who he trusts, isn't it? And I think that's what you need. Well, it is to get it. Clubs, it's a good ploy by club by keep uh, having Devaney with him, isn't it? Like, because Devaney's been at club in the academy for years. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a good ploy by, and obviously Patterson, I'm, I can remember him when he played. I didn't know he would have made it. He must have played with Duff at Burnley, I bet. At Burnley, yeah, it was, mate. Yeah, yeah I, thought, I thought so. I can remember, I, I, I always liked him as a player. Uh, and if he's, if he's like that off-field, I'm happy with it because he would he looked and he was a nasty per on field. He was, you know what I mean. One of them yeah. kind of strikers, like Paul Dickoff type yeah. of strikers. Like you know what I mean? Against him, but he knew what to do, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was one of them. He, he was prolific mm. by all means. He did score, and uh, I, I wondered where he'd, he'd been. He'd be, uh, over in America, was not he? I didn't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, been in yeah, but, uh, Miami. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm more than happy with, with him, like, uh, with, with coaching staff. I ain't got a problem with that. I mean, not at all. I'm out. You know what I mean? He's, he's probably best. Well, we, you, you're talking, if you, 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 you're you going to have to pay do, top dollar if you want a better manager. I mean, like last season when I said we could have fetched Warnock in and club weight, do that, it'll cost this that over. But I don't think he would have, me. I think he'd have come for next to now. Mm. Uh, um, and just said to him, look, keep us up, Neil, we'll, um, then we'll discuss future in summer. Like, mm. Whether he would have, would he have kept us up? I don't know. I think he'd have given us more of a chance, though, than uh, the Nash Barge did. Nash Barge did, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. uh, so we started in League One. Uh, obviously, it was a, a poor performance at Plymouth for fans got made it, and uh, there's been documented stuff about there. Uh, Duffy he sent came out and said he, he 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 was less than impressed. He was he was pissed off. We are stuff what we worked on not been replicated. Uh, you know, put on the pitch again. We won against Cheltenham. Um, still work in progress. We had a clean sheet to win, and I think that's we're going to be for me. I think we're going to be relying on his own form uh, a lot this season. Um, and we're going to touch on it briefly. I know club are investigating this at Supporters Trust, but the fiasco with the uh, shirt sponsor, that war, you know, people have been calling out for a sponsor. When, we, when it's come on, it's come to light the reasons behind it. But, I mean, yeah, first on game season, we're a shirt sponsor. But it's tends to be more talking about a shirt sponsor and its performance, and we've got actually a win. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I did, obviously I didn't go to Plymouth. I saw it goal. Styles did actually trap man back, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's obviously my what first game of the season. It's got to, uh, we've got to mold players. I know we've had pre season, hmm. but I look at that, it's all about game fit. It's all right, you can work on tactics, this, that, and other. But you'll not see, and this goes, this goes for every team, this is country. 10 games, 10 to 15, 10 games, then you'll see your team, Weird you know. Yeah. yeah, that's what, you can't do it straight away. Listen, we were never going to look, the, uh, not taking that away from us, we just, they were poor, Cheltenham, were a, it were a poor Cheltenham. Mm. 
We were never, we were never going to lose Saturday. We were never going to lose. It would have mattered if, if we could score that goal. Hmm. And obviously, it took a, a world to uh, to win it. Uh, but as, I thought we were comfortable all the way through. All right, there'll be tougher tests than that. They'll be, they'll not be. Uh, They'll be dark bottom. I know they finished halfway, but that was under Duff. I don't know what the new manager's like. Yet. Mm. But did he work with Duff? What do you say? Yeah, but he's it's like mature like, something. Yeah, well, yeah. so he's, he's got caught a bit of continuity to it. Uh, continuity to it club then. Mm. But they're not going to do out Cheltenham, and they know they're not. They know they're not. They're, they're above what their level is really. Mm. The, the highest they've ever been. Uh, but. I was impressed with uh, Thomas Saturday, right? We've all been, yeah. we've all criticised him. He's been away, been out on loan. I, I, I before his goal, I was impressed. Mm. He was getting on ball. He wanted ball. Signing a good player when they want ball all the time. Yeah. Always, yeah. you know what I mean. Getting on ball, running them. This time, over confidence. Like they're four, four they scored. Hmm. That goal, that performance, and then to top it off goal, with, I think. yeah, yeah, well, and to top it off with goal, he'll have walked out of that stadium yeah. twenty foot tall. Yeah, confidence, right? It's a big key, big uh, key. It's key in football. Confidence. He'll have walked. Out, he'll have wanted to to play Sunday, Monday. Come on, yeah. when's next game? When's next game? Yeah, you know what I mean. Because uh, it was a good, it was a bit like when against Fulham, though, wasn't it? When he scored first game at season, <laughs> and then he went backwards a bit. Same with Wilts, because Wilts yeah. had a great game Wilts. that day. Yeah. Uh, I just thought there's more to come from him because I've hmm. seen flashes in games before when he was with us, before he went out on one, and I've seen flashes in games, and it was just his end product. But I yeah. think. He's still only a young kid, and I think that'll and that, pick it right option will come to him the more he, you know what I'm saying, the more he plays, more games, he, you know what I mean? And I know he's had a bit of tr- go on health issues, isn't he, and that. Yeah, yeah. So, I hope, hopefully he's, he's over them now, and he's settled, and he's, mm. he settles down at club, because he could play an integral part this season, Thomas. Yeah, I agree. He could play an integral you know what I mean? And I thought we looked better when uh, Luke Connell well, Benson and yeah. Luke Connell Benson and uh, Thomas all played in that middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I when he, he he come on, didn't he? Styles went to left back. Yeah. Uh, I thought we looked better then. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And so, uh, I will mention Benson as well because he he did all right, Benson, hmm. and one or two one or two others did. Uh, obviously, Styles then went to left back. But I, I'd say that's I'd say obviously if Kane and all to come back in there, I know Wolf's injured as well. Mm. But uh, I don't know whether whether Thomas might be better if Kane comes in there and Thomas playing me out front to me. Yeah, yeah. In in like a floating role. Yeah, like a fl- free team, a, fl- a floating free role kind of thing. Just be like, yeah. Yeah, uh, and and getting on ball and. Hmm. And doing what he wants with ball because I think he's tricky. And he could be like that link up play from midfield to Ex- yeah, exactly. Yeah, I yeah. know. I know Aitchison can do it because he did it for the screen. That's where they were playing. One, he'd be out front yeah. too. Yeah. But you look at you probably your strongest midfield then it'd be with with K, it'd be Kane, O'Connell, and Benson. So hmm. you'd have them three. You could have them three there, and then Thomas just in a bit of an advanced role in between strikers and. Them three, good options, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But then, but but then he, he likes to play five at back though. You wouldn't be able to play five at back though, then would you? Because mm. I'm accounting too many players there. Yeah, because five three two, it'd be five. He, Thomas said actually, he'd, he'd actually be playing behind striker, would he? Not behind two. Yeah. So we, we so we could do it, right? Yeah. Could mix it up. So it, mix it up. A yeah. Bit. So it would be a five three one one, wouldn't it, with Thomas being that one behind striker? Hmm. I mean, we do need to fetch, but it's all on 
Elliot and Styles going in it, but and this is what I've said about why why we're going to miss miss a trick here with signings with transfer window. I personally think they're going to get loans. And how many? I mean, it's been banded about many four players and. Yeah. But realistically, how many players do you think need to come in? I'm thinking two, maybe three players need to come in, my son. Well, the, the, the left wing back, mm. if Styles is going. Uh, I, think you, I think we need I'll, someone to replace Britain because I think we're relying too much on Jordan Williams. So I think right wing back, we need someone there. Well, I think his, I think Williams' best position is right hand side of the three, mate. Yeah. It's a free centre race, but he's obviously picking other three. You could be right, Neil. You could be right. We could need a right back. I know people, that, listen, if we bring in another midfielder in, I'd like it to be an old school one, like Norwood. Mm. A captain, a captain. Mm. Who's been there and done it? Who's, right, you know what I mean? The a vocal presence being there. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've said that for the last two. We ain't had it on pitch. We ain't had it nowhere on pitch. Hmm. So if they're gonna bring one in, I don't want another young one in hmm. with potential coming from an academy or or from a lower league. Hmm. I want somebody who's been there and done it and a captain and a leader. And hmm. and I said it last season. Adam Clayton is at Doncaster. Yeah. He was at Doncaster last season. I couldn't believe he was at Doncaster last season. I know they went down, hmm. but that don't that ain't a slight on him. Because he's had a good career, Leeds, Middlesbrough, mm. one or two others, captain's armband on, and he's still at Donny this season in League Two. Mm. Now, he's either got fitness issues, injury issues, blah, blah, blah. Because for me, he's too good for that league. Yeah. I'd say he's still too good for League One, but I'm looking at such as him. He could be the leader and captain at middle of midfield for us. Or yeah, yeah. not or sitting in front of defence yeah. organising your manager on pitch he, he, surely Doncaster can't be paying him that I, you know what I'm saying yeah I know what you mean yeah yeah. I, yeah and I'm, I'm just naming him off the top of my head like I know they've got Lee Tomlin there and all but he's got trouble is with Lee Tomlin I know for the fact that he has got a lot of fitness issues uh, and injury issues that's why he's probably dropped down there I mean Hmm. He'll play one week, he'll miss a month. Like. But for Clay, with Clayton being there, I don't know why. Something some must be up because he's too good to be playing at Donny Rovers, I'm telling you now. Yeah. And 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 nobody's coming for this kid as well. And and I can't see costing loads and loads as uh, centre forward that uh, Cole Stockton at, at uh, Markham. Yeah. I, bet I, I sent you the thing, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Nobody's coming for him, I know. It. Well, people were saying about that May, weren't they, who played Saturday for Chelsea. Oh, Alpha May, yeah. Yeah, yeah whether, whether he still fancies him, obviously, he's worked with him, he might fancy him, but, which they're going to do. A lot of managers sometimes fetch players from their own, own club. They're not wrong with that. It's mm. trust that we can, it's, trust, it's putting trust in them, yeah. in the ability. Uh, yeah, so that's Stockton at Markham. Mm. I've never not to see, get to see anybody touting him about. I think he got is 20 he with... goals last season, didn't he? he got yeah, 20, is 20, he? 20 scrolls. This is what I'm saying. Is he with a look at? He'll not be on Mega Bucks at Markham. They're not. No. Mar Markham. <coughs> they're, they're a non league. Well, they're obviously a league now. Yeah. Always been a non league club. I mean, they're, they're in a league. A bit like Cheltenham should be probably mm. lead to like no not taking it away out away from them. It can't be on mega books there, like. No. With a look. But yeah, definitely with a look. With a look, I mean I get I get that they're looking on thing on data and this, that, and they might not flag up, but sometimes you've got to get out there and look yourself. Mm. Mm. They, and not always and, and look, don't be fearful of it, just cause Conway did that. Mm. But let's let's be right, Conway into football person. He's a businessman. Yeah. I'm on about a football man at club or even Devaney or Hassel or such. Oh, no. Go, uh, yeah. Yeah. go and watch them. Go and watch them. Well, they ought to... They could, well, you don't know them, aren't they? Mm. I'd have said they ought to be watching him in pre-season, to be honest, and then 
and see what kind of cat, see what kind of character he is, he is temperament. Because sometimes that's a problem. Mm-hmm. The characters and temperaments and, and that. I mean, he might score goals, but might not be a team player and morale. And he's like, yeah, yeah. People look at that. People, oh, I don't want him at our club. I mean, uh, players banded about before for bars. Oh, we don't want him at our club. He'll do this. He'll call blah blah. Oh, this that, other. dressing room and that, yeah. Yeah, this, that, other. And it, 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 it's hard sometimes because you've got to think, well, does it matter if you're scoring goals and we're winning? Hmm. You turn a blind eye to it a bit like... Yeah. Well, it's a, a bit like under Ishmael. I hated performances, but did it matter because we were winning? Hmm. I, hmm. I couldn't stand that style of football. Hmm. Uh, some of our fans... You, we don't want Warnock, we don't want McCarthy, and they played the same way as bloody Ishmael. Ishmael, yeah. Didn't they? But they yeah. didn't, never won. They never wanted them as manager. <laughs> Different than money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just to finish it off, I mean, like I said, we've gone through last season and then this season with players and stuff, Steve. Uh, like I said, I know club is investigating stuff uh, with all the shirt sponsors and, and things like that, and sports trust have. But again, it could it could have come out of a worse time, could it? This week, oh, God. after all, you know, all good what we've been trying to do with Open Days and Western Park, you know, with, with this game uh, with sponsor and Andy Clark cycling down to Plymouth, and then something like this happens. It like seems to. Just pull rug from under everybody again, doesn't it? And it's like gives us a bad reputation a bit, and it we, mm. you know, I don't know. It's... We don't. Uh, well, till it comes out, we don't know. Well, obviously they've all got to have agreed, haven't they? Surely. Mm. I mean, some are blaming Khalid, but surely a decision like this, it's uh, got to come from them all. Mm. So, I, I, and questioning. Went done the due diligence this time over. I mean, I have to be careful what I say. I might get, I might get. Uh, yeah, what we call it? Right thing about it, like do we? So not, yeah, well, not, I'm, not from, not from bars. I might get people watching your channels on that thing because I've been oh, reading right. some. I've been, been some reading some. Of, yeah, I've been reading some of tweets. I mean, I'm not on Twitter, but I can go on and read some. Of, it lets you go down and read. Yeah. And some of the stuff what they've been saying, I'm thinking, oh, the heck are these cranks? Yeah, it's been, it's and been I'm all, I, 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 I'm all for, I'm all for freedom of speech. This that little bit, there's limits, there's limits. Yeah. But some of the stuff they were saying, it was making me think they were crackpots. Yeah, and I hear a lot of stuff about these, this big cut. Something like yeah. Bitcoin, crypto, isn't it? Like, yeah, crypto. Blah, blah, blah. And pyramid things and this. And I think, mm. personally, I won't get time of day. And uh, I think it's all a com. I mm. think it's all a com. Mm. It's all a... It, this, Neil, it's too easy. It, it, it'd be too easy. Everybody would be putting the money in if they were going to make some money back. Mm. I, no, I, I, I'd go, right. They're saying, oh, we'll make you this, we'll make you that. Right, I'll give you a gram. And now nah, I want two gram back next week. Mm. Everybody will be doing it. Yeah. It's a lot of... It, but, yeah. but I'm not... Listen, I'm not savvy enough for no product. I don't know what they're into and this, that, other. But, listen, I don't know if their intentions are good. I don't even know how much money they're putting, if they have put any in. Uh, and I don't know if club have issued have club not come out with a statement yet. Because no, I know got highlighted a bit of Sports Trust uh, yesterday, and the yeah, that's all they, that. Yeah, it got put out, but obviously people don't engage because, like I said, some vile stuff came put out and engaging in people. So I think club are doing their own investigation and you know stripping it all back. I just thought that it's not damaged club in. You know, in worse ways than what we could think of, like either financially or reputation and that. And uh, I think we, what's been going off, what I've been reading as well, what bits and bobs is that if I want to get to brute cause in it, and then if need be, you know, sort it all out, and then we're going to issue a statement out. But until that's happened, it will just a matter of don't engage with these people because we want to get his own, you know, 
processes in place kind of thing. So it's just a, a wait and see. Uh, yeah, literally a wait and see. But yeah, because yeah. it, 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 if contracts have been signed, it could get messy. Mm. Mm. It could get messy. I mean, that listen, I'm last to ask about legal legalities and everything. This is why I get confused with stuff. With what's going off at club to start with? Regarding board awards, what old, blah blah blah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish it were just one person who owned us. <laughs> and that was, you know what I'm saying? It, it? Yeah, simple, yeah. simple. Yeah, yeah. We're bars we bounce a football club, not fucking Barcelona. <laughs> God, I've done well. I've done well not to swear, you know, and I've just swore. <laughs> hey, you get what I'm saying, though? I yeah, I know what you I mean. Know. I know what you mean. <laughs> it, does get, it does get complex, doesn't it? Yeah, it gets complex. Yeah, but, but yeah, we've got to be, like I said, I mean, I'm not, I'm, you know, I stopped buying shirts years ago and this and other, and I get you, we need a sponsor. It's, it's, it's a good income stream into the club. Yeah. Uh, but we are, and I'm not criticising this X thing because obviously I don't know exact ins and outs. I'll let the people who are more qualified than me uh, yeah. Yeah, go through it. And, and if they think it's what's, and if they're going to stick with them and think it's what's best for club, then who am I to, you know what I mean? We've got to go with it. We've got to go with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, it'd be so, interesting to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I mean, Steve, it's been great to have you on, mate. Uh, hopefully, we missed out. Uh, I don't think oh. so. I think we're more or less caught up to it. Uh, been 40 odd minutes, so yeah. I know, I didn't say, I ain't said awesome. much about new players because, like I say, I don't know much about him yet. That what first time I, oh, I went against Sheffield, and then obviously, uh, there were other pieces, but. Like I said, I'll judge them after 10 games. But when you're working with a budget like that, what? listen, you've got to have patience. What do they expect? Like yeah. I said, your main, your main person at the club now is uh, Michael Duff. Yeah, He's the main person. He will get the best out of what he's got. And he looks like, he, he looks like that kind of person who, who will. But like I said, the ultimate thing is it, it's going to take time and it won't happen overnight. Unless we drop lucky. Mm -hmm. We get a goal, and we get it. We do manage to get somebody who can listen. You only need a goal scorer in this league, and you have a chance. Yeah, one player, one player. All over, you can cheat with others. Mm -hmm. One player, a pro probably a decent keeper, yeah, mm -hmm. or it's or probably it's fine. I'll go centre half, like. But your main man in this league is a goal scorer, and I would. That's why I would have been unhappy letting Morris go, because I think he'd have got his goals. To at least get us in playoffs, and then win him and Norwood together, I think they'd have been a, a right handful in this league. I do. So I'll sign off on that. Sign off on that. I mean, it's good what Steve said. Uh, patience is key. I think you know. I think Duff is a man and a goal scorer. Uh, goal scorer, which we all been craving for. We all want. I think even Duff wants a first team goal scorer. Because if you can put ball in the back in net, you've always got a chance to win a goal. Clean sheets, but we need someone to put converted chances. So Steve. Been great to have you on. Hope to have you on again uh, soon. Uh, great insight, great catch up as well. And no yeah, doubt, fun. loads of people to comment and hit the subscribe and everything like that. But Steve's <laughs> on and uh, is back. So, Steve, once again, mate, it's been great to have you.